The day of trumpets is upon us, and it may be more important than you think. The feasts of God are holy days set aside by the creator of the universe for those who follow his ways. These days are not only to remember God's appointed times, but they're filled with prophetic revelations about the future, the past, and prove that Jesus was, in fact, the Messiah. Passover is the application of the blood of the Lamb, which represents God's salvation from death. Unleavened bread signifies getting sin and pride out of our lives. First fruit signifies the first grain harvest being cut from the earth and being offered to God so that there can be a good harvest in the fall, just as Jesus was raised out of the earth on the third day. In just 50 days from the first feast of Passover, we have Pentecost. And just as his fire dwelled on top of Mount Sinai many years prior when he gave us the Ten Commandments, fire also came down in the form of tongues on Pentecost after the resurrection of Jesus that signified the Spirit of God resting inside those who serve him. Through these spring feasts, God is offering us his salvation, sanctification, deliverance, and gives us the gift of the Holy Spirit to prepare us for the long summary growth period. At the end of this long growth period is the harvest. We begin a sequential succession of fall feasts that will mirror futuristic prophecies. The first of these appointed times and the one that we're speaking about today is the Feast of Trumpets. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. The blast of the trumpets signifies the beginning of the war from God and the watchman's warning. In Joshua, we see a story that is without a doubt a shadow of the things that will come upon the earth in the book of Revelation. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days. And seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass, that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat. And the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. In Revelation, we see seven angels who will sound seven trumpets, ultimately ending the world as we know it and removing the wicked from the face of the earth. Paul revealed a mystery to the Corinthians that spoke about the last trumpet sound and the hope that we have. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. <laughs> 